my heart's been heavy. Hi guys, my heart's been heavy kind of all morning. And I think I just need to uh, talk about what's been on my heart. Um, I think uh, we 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 as believers and we as um, people in the body of Christ get so hyped up on saying what things are wrong, what things are demonic, and yes. We should point out those things. Yes, we should make people aware if we know something is of Satan. We need to say it. But I think, um, as well, we need to counteract that with the wonderful light of Jesus. And we need to be aware that behind everything that we say is demonic, Uh, behind everything that is demonic and that, that is, um, that is in scripture as demonic, it's, there are people in that, in that like lifestyle and there are people in that um, kind of practice. Um, And I know we need to edify the body of Christ. We need to uh, call evil out. We need to, um, we need to uh, uh, um, open, open, open people's eyes, but I think when doing that, we need to do it with the, with the spirit of love behind it, and I, and I know that people have a lot of different stories, and, you know, a lot of different things they've been through, and a lot of different testimonies, and it's wonderful, but I just, like, you know, we love to hear when something is wrong or something is a sin or something is demonic. But what we don't understand is while we're edifying the body of Christ, we are pushing away a person that is a soul, a person that Jesus loves. We're telling them that what what they do and who they are is wrong. And I understand why we do it and we need to, we need to balance, uh, we need to call out the darkness, but while we're calling out the darkness, we need to bring light to it and understand that all of those people in that kind of lifestyle they are still people that people love. Homosexuals are people that Jesus loves. Mediums are people that Jesus loves. Uh, witches and Wiccans, Wiccans are people that Jesus loves. And instead of t- talking about the, the demonic part of it so much, um, I think we need to temper not forget about that. We need to call the darkness out, but we need to also call call the um, call the love out of them, call the peace out of them, call the destiny out of them. Because I've heard a lot of people. There's a big medium right now. Um, if I said the name, um, most of you would know who this person was. I read their book because God said, I need you to read this book so that you understand where the person is coming from. And what the, the person went to the church and, and they just said he was weird because he was searching for what, um, you know, 
he knew he had a gift for something. So he was searching for this. So he picked up all kinds of books. So he went to the church and the church just laughed at him and said he was weird and like demonic. So he left the service and then he got more involved as a medium. So, so often they come to us first we reject them and you know and then we call what they do demonic or you know you know i think we just need to understand that behind every person is a is is a soul that God loves. And I'm not saying we we don't need to call out the devil, but be, but along with calling out the devil, we need to call out the God in that person because the only thing to counter darkness is his marvelous light. And I think we spend too much time uh, as Christians ca calling out the darkness, saying this is demonic, that is demonic, don't do that because that is demonic. We need to call out the light in the person because the light will automatically cancel out the darkness because light and darkness cannot abide together. And when you call out the light in the person, the darkness, when you call out the light in a person or, you know, a thing, the, the darkness cannot stand. So I think we need to stop just doing this whole darkness thing. And I think Christians need to be aware of darkness, but we need to start calling out the light of God on people. And we need to be aware that everything we're calling darkness, there are people behind that. And sometimes even some things that we're calling that are demonic, um, they were useful to people. So be aware of that as well. And I'm not saying that we, we don't need to say when things are dark or demonic. I think we, we just need to be aware that there are people. And they need Jesus too. Um... Homosexuals need Jesus. Mediums need Jesus. Everything that we're calling dark, is they need the light of Jesus too. The same cross that saved us can save them. The same people that, we're, that are involved in all these things need Christ as well. They, because the, the love of Jesus, they all need Jesus. And I keep thinking about that book that, that I read because um, the Lord said, read it. And I said, what? He said, read it because I need you to understand the person behind the practice. And I keep thinking if somebody, um, if he, if that service that he went to would have welcomed him and said, you know what, that, that gift is prophetic. Let me teach you about the prophets of old. Let me teach you how to direct that gift to the proper source because all, all I believe um, that these uh, people 
people are because I asked the Lord about it. He said it's the right gift but wrong source. He said what these what these people need is to be directed to the right source so their gift can be used for the kingdom. He said it is a gift that these people have. But what they need is it to be plugged into the right source so they can be using their gift for me It's a, and not for the devil. He said, it, he, God said it's, oh, what was she? God said it's the right gift, but wrong source. And... And I, I'm thinking of this person. I'm like, if this person ever got to know Christ and ever got his gift in the correct source, he would be unstoppable for the kingdom. And I just, my heart was so heavy um, because I was thinking of all the people that uh, that are in this, all the um, mediums and witches and all of that, that stuff, if they would have heard that, they would have thought they could think that they're wrong. And I think for me, because of my disability and because of the church that I grew up in, um, they were so focused on healing. I grew up for years thinking that I was wrong. And when a person grows up and thinks that they're wrong or what they have to give is wrong or they or their gift is not valuable because it doesn't come in this package, it can really uh, devastate a person person and I think because it devastated me and and I think not I think I just I just uh, my heart was grieved today because I thought if somebody came across that because I not that this person who said this was wrong they're totally right and they're totally correct and they know more than me. But I'm saying, if that person would have, would have come across that, how would it look? How how would it um, shine the light of Christ um, to that person? To that person. Uh, I think there needs to be a way to call out the devil, but but um, spread love on it at the same time. Not not acceptance, not allowance, because you don't want to allow anything demonic. But you want to uh, you want to. We often in the church like to make the devil greater than God. The devil is not greater than God. Uh, God is greater. And we, it, it's clickbaity to say this is demonic, oh, this is demonic. So, but we need to sprinkle light and love while we're calling out the devil. We need to call out. At the same time, we need to call it the God in people first, and because once the once the love of God gets sprinkled, gets into people, the devil will flee. All that thing will come into alignment. With not just a spirit that they call it, will come into alignment with the Holy Spirit, and that gifting will be used for the kingdom. 
and the kingdom will suffer violence. And they will just be a force for the kingdom. But if we constantly say that this is demonic, that is demonic, and don't sprinkle it with love, or don't say, um, just keep on focusing on the demonic part of it. We'll just say, okay, I guess who I am is demonic and God can't use me, so I might as well just keep doing what I'm doing then. I I just really think God is calling for an infiltration of light. Not so much a focus on darkness. Not so much a focus on what the devil's doing, but an infiltration of the light and love of God. So so that everybody can come to his wonderful light. And as the light shines, the darkness will go. Because light and darkness cannot abide together. And it'll be awesome. I can just picture the person I'm picturing um, just getting into the kingdom and uh, plugging uh, this gift into the right source and what a blessing it will be to the body. These two people and other people that I've seen and know, like, it's just going to be awesome. It's just a misdirected source. And Lord God, I pray for this person right now. I call them in your marvelous to your marvelous this light. In your I call them to salvation right now. I declare that your spirit is abiding with them right now, abiding with their family. Lord Jesus, plug them into the right source. Let let every witch, every warlock, every medium come into the right source, God. Come into the source of you, O oh God. Lord Jesus, and if it is a true gift, let it be transferred to the kingdom. And if it's a gift to make money or falsehood, Lord Jesus, let let it die the way it should, God. I pray, Lord Jesus, that their their true gifting be be established for your kingdom. Take them out of darkness now into your marvelous light and love on them, Lord Jesus, because every person needs your divine guidance and your divine love, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Send help. Send brethren, send people to just love on them, to to guide, to walk with them on this journey of your marvelous truth, because you have gifted them. That gift comes from you. It needs to be. It just needs to be plugged into the right source. And I believe that the, these people will be will be soldiers, will be warriors for your kingdom. I believe that you are raising up former mediums, former psychics, former LGBT people, all those people that we think are in demonic lifestyle. I believe that you're raising them up and plugging them into the right source. In the name of Jesus, Amen. And let us focus on your light and your love in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Bye.